Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can manage your mods for GTA 5 like a boss, using this amazing tools. Let's begin. First make sure you have installed this .NET 5.0 desktop runtime in your PC. Then go download the tools from the link in the description. Go to your main game location. If you don't know your game location, here are the default game locations, or you can follow me if you're using Steam. Right now I have a lot of mods installed in my game. So first I'll detect all the mod files using this GTA 5 mod remove tool. At first time run, you will have to select your game file location for the remover tool. After selecting the location, it will detect all of your mod files and folders. Then click on move all files, folder to whitelist. It will move all the mods to a separate folder. If you can't find where is the folder, you can go to the whitelist folder from here. It's right outside the main game folder. Now extract the GTA 5 modding launcher zip. Copy all the files from here and paste them in the same drive where your GTA 5 is. Because, this tool will cut paste the mods all the times, so you should keep it in the same drive where you main game it. It will save a ton of time. Now open the tool. It has already detected my game. If it didn't detect your game, then go to this gear icon, click on Manage Installs, then add your game folder. Choose your launcher, find your game folder and click on Save. You can click on Check Updates to see if there are any. If there is an update, first back up your mods from the tool, then update it. Now click on the plus icon to create a profile for your mods. You will see a profile folder where the mod loader tool is. Inside the folder you will find all your mod profiles. Inside this folder we will paste the mods, which we have removed from the main game folder using the mod remover tool. That's it. You have created your first mod profile using the tool. Now how to switch between profiles. To switch make sure you have right-clicked on the mod profile you want, and select Set Profile as Active. You will see the mods are automatically transferred to your main game folder. Now if we do this do we have to verify the game files after the mods are removed? The answer is no. You don't have to verify your game. You can launch your game directly. First let's switch to the vanilla profile, which is our clear game folder. You can launch the game using the tool, or Steam, or your game launcher. So as you can see the game is working fine. Now let's switch to our mod profile and see if the game loads correctly or not. Success! So how many profiles can we add? I actually don't know how many profile you can add, but I'll show you how you can add one more profile right now. So let's switch to our vanilla version also create a profile for our next mods. I have installed all the necessary mods in my game first. Now I will use the remover tool to detect all the files and whitelist them. Then from the whitelist folder I'll cut and paste them inside my profile folder. Now I can use the tool to switch in between my multiple mods profile. Let me know in the comment how many you have added so far. And if you have installed everything correctly the game will run without any errors. If your game is crashing and can't find any fix, watch my ultimate fix video which will show how you can fix your game by yourself. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe the channel.